Hi, I'm James from Spy Camera CCTV. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to wire up your wireless farming kit. We're going to be looking at the kit that wires up within the barn. So what we're going to have in this setup is camera connected to recorder, recorder connected to Ingenious, then the second Ingenious on the farmhouse connected to the router. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty simple setup, this. Um, first of all, what we're going to do is look at the camera to the recorder and then the recorder to the Ingenious. So if you imagine this setup would be in the barn or the stable block, uh, and then this side of the setup would be back in the home uh, with the internet router. So in this case, we've got a BT Home Hub, but this could be any router. So first of all, what we're going to do is connect the camera into the back of the recorder. Now, one of the benefits of this setup is that you no longer need the power supply for the camera. Because the camera is powered by the recorder using something called PoE, we don't need this power supply anymore. So all we're going to do is connect a simple network cable from the uh, network connection on the camera, which we can see there. And if I spin the recorder around, you'll see on the recorder, you have these four ports. Now these are the four PoE ports on the back of the recorder. Um, it doesn't really matter where you connect these into. Um, obviously port one would be channel one on the screen, channel two would be port two, etc. Um, but it doesn't really matter which way around you get these. So all you're doing is literally connection together. And as you can see, it really is that simple. Um, it's just one plug to plug. This cable is re relatively short, but of course you could have this cable over a lot longer distance and the camera a lot further away from the recorder than as we've got it here. So as you can see, we've got the four PoE ports on the back of the recorder. Then you've got the fifth port on its own. Now this is the LAN connection for the recorder. Now in a wired setup, obviously this would go to your internet reader. But in this case, we're going to plug it into one of the Ingenious panels. So um, power supply that comes with the Ingenious, um, it's really simple. Uh, it's got a LAN connection and a PoE connection. And if we flip the Ingenious over, you'll see that this has the uh, same thing, a LAN and a PoE connection. Um, the most important thing is making sure that you connect the PoE from the injector into the PoE on the Ingenious, which we will now do. So. Uh, again, normal network cable. Um, we're going to go into the LAN connection with PoE and we're going to go into the PoE connection on the power supply. So, yeah, you can see we've got the black cable PoE to PoE. Then what we're going to do is run a cable, as we just highlighted, from the LAN connection on the back of the recorder. Um, now this is going to go into the LAN connection on the power supply. So you can see, we've highlighted it in a black and a white cable so you can see it pretty easily. We've got PoE down the black cable into PoE on the panel antenna. And then we've got the white cable running from the LAN connection on the recorder into the LAN connection on the PoE injector. So back at the farmhouse side, um, the setup's fairly similar. Um, but obviously instead of going to the recorder, we're going to go into the internet router. So same as before, we're going to go from the PoE on the back of the second antenna into the PoE in the injector, just like so. Um, and then we're going to run the second cable. Um, so in this case, I've used the gray cable. Um, again, just so you can see the difference. Uh, that's going to go into the back of your internet router. So uh, again, it doesn't really matter what port you go into in the back of your, your router. Um, in this case, like I say, the BT Home Hub's got four ports, um, but it doesn't really matter where you plug it in. Um, so just to reiterate, you've got PoE via the black cable into PoE in the Ingenious. Then you've got the grey cable running from the LAN connection on the, the power supply into the LAN connection on the back of your router. So bear in mind with this setup, um, with the Ingenious antennas, they have to be in line of sight of each other. So they have to be pointing towards each other. So you couldn't have one, uh, say the receiving end pointing over here, and then this pointing over here. They have to be looking directly at each other. Um, so when you're setting these up, just bear that in mind. Um, obviously, any questions, give us a call. But the main thing here is to understand how everything connects together. Thanks for watching this video. Please remember you can also find all the information in this video on our help site at spycameracctv.com forward slash help. 